What's up you guys, my name is Eric Moretton and on today's video we're going to take my custom LSL guitar and we're going to make it way more sick. What are we going to do? We're going to toss in these puppies right here. These are the Seymour Duncan Jupiter Wes Hauk Signature Pickups. We're going to toss them in here. I'm going to walk you through how to install pickups on a guitar in a very simple wiring configuration like this. And then we're going to hear how they sound. If you want to hear how this guitar sounds as it is right now with the stock Alnico pickups, I'm going to link below to some videos that I have made with this guitar and on my other social media accounts where you can hear this guitar in a very raw setting. So without further ado, let's get into this video and make this thing all sorts of sick. Let's go. First things first, this guitar has a floating tremolo, okay? Even though it's top mounted, you should approach any guitar like this when you're changing strings or changing pickups on it if it, if it has a tremolo of any sort, okay? First thing you want to do if you want to keep the strings, which is what I want to do here because these are basically brand new, you want to do put the bar in and toss a little piece of cardboard or something underneath the bridge just so it can kind of hold its place and it won't go out of whack so you're not going to have to reset your spring tension or the claws and the screws in the back because that can be a nightmare for some people if you don't know how to work on a tremolo system properly or if you don't have the confidence. So just to make your lives a little bit easier. Always start by doing that. Then go ahead and start loosening the strings and then get on to it. The nice thing about these LSL pickups that are in here already and Seymour Duncan's is that they have the same wiring diagram. So realistically, and in this case, I can literally go pickup by pickup and not mess anything up, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Otherwise, just go on your Seymour Duncan website, figure out what wiring you want to achieve and what your guitar has and just kinda go for it. But we're going to make this real simple, so here we go. While these are locking tuners, I only have a certain amount of string left over, so I don't want to take the strings out of the string holes and then eventually have to throw them out because I won't be able to get them back in for whatever reasons. So it's come to the point where I'm just sick of trying to save these strings. I have three extra sets from my wonderful friends at the string source. I don't know why I've just decided to not just use them. Um, don't kid yourself, just put new strings on even if they're brand new. Don't put yourself through this torture. Fun times! Once you're at the stage, go ahead and then take the tremolo bar out of the guitar. Okay. Put it somewhere safe. Let's flip this bad boy over. And then, just kind of Dirt taken out the electronics here. I'm pulling the bridge pickup right now, so it's out of the guitar, and I'm just going to wiggle it around. You can kind of see there. We now know, we've now found what our bridge pickup wire is, so it's the one that is shaking right here. So I'm going to go ahead and desolder all of that and just kind of put the new bridge pickup in right where the old one, right where the old wiring would be. So you have to at this point go ahead and take a picture of what you're working with and what you have existing and match it up if you don't have a wiring, wiring diagram. Otherwise, just go right ahead and if you have your diagram, just go for it. That just looks absolutely awesome. But here's the key thing. I haven't wired it yet, got the wires through, but it's a little tight. It's a little tight in here. So when you're installing pickups, you gotta make sure humbucker routing is actually good for the pickup. So this is just a little, little snug. So I'm just gonna take just a small flat file here. I'm gonna go up and down ever so slightly as I kinda just go by hand and see what I need. Okay, so we're gonna get back to soldering here. I got my soldering iron here, and the next thing that you're gonna need, obviously, is maybe some wire, if you need to extend the pickup wires any more than you have to. Um, especially if you're getting used pickups, you never know what you're getting. So always good to have some extra wire. This is the secret sauce here. This is just some regular 
wire and like contact paste. So you're gonna take you know something like a little screwdriver or something, dip it in here, and you're gonna coat the wires with it. Okay, and you're gonna coat the surface of it. Why are you gonna do it? It's because this will ensure that you are having a solid connection between the wires. Okay. Just because wires are hidden in another way doesn't mean they can get dirty over time or doesn't mean they can lose their connectivity over time. So, always good just to pace it up and make sure you're working with clean surfaces because I've worked on some guitars that have dirty surfaces without this and without using wire paste and it's definitely a pain. So, always, 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 in my opinion, use a little bit of soldering paste. Then, good thing too, clean the tip of your soldering iron with some of that paste and then you're gonna be good to go so I'm gonna reference my wiring diagram that I took a picture of or the old wires and just match it all up because in this case Seymour Duncan and LSL for their in-house pickups are the exact same wiring so basically I'm just reconnecting the dots so without further ado let's get it going and we're back it's a new day here and the guitar is all done. So, without further ado, let's check this sucker out. Now let's get some light and look at that. Bam! All right, so before we get started with this and going crazy and restringing the guitar and testing it, let's make sure that we have done this properly and we're just gonna do a simple, simple pickup test, okay? So I got this guitar plugged into my interface and it's going into my DAW and just with a quick BST that I've loaded up and this is on the bridge position and we're just going to make sure that it works. So. so I'm just tapping the magnets and you might be able to hear it through my monitors here that I'm getting a little bit of static because yeah, pickups are magnets and this here on this file is metal as well so obviously they're sticking so go to the neck and okay. That all works as it should. And obviously the coil selector, you can kind of hear the sound is gonna change a little bit, but we're not gonna really hear a major difference until we actually put some strings on it and tune it up. All right, and without further ado, here they are. Pickups are in. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of tone testing. I'm gonna go into my rep generator, You're just using my live rig with um, some pedals on the ground, uh, Boss MS3 for a couple effects on the clean channel. Otherwise, this is pretty well straight into it, and the only kind of other effects you're going to hear on the rhythm side are basically just a noise gate to keep it all clean, because these are some pretty hot pickups, but they do sound very good for different applications. So, without further ado, here we go.
Alright, so that just about wraps up this video and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on the Seymour Duncan Jupiter pickups. Full disclosure, I do have an affiliation with Seymour Duncan, so my thoughts and opinions might be a little bit biased, okay? But these pickups, in my opinion, are probably some of the best that money can buy right now, especially if you're trying to achieve that modern, high-gain sound in a passive format. I think these are probably the best. This is an Ash body, and Ash is generally known to having like a scooped mid-range or maybe like a bigger low-end characteristic and maybe a lot of highs. And this pickup, or these pickups rather, just kind of knocked it out of the park and they just brought this guitar into another realm of just insanity. Nothing against the original pickups, but these pickups just kind of took this guitar to a whole nother level and I am totally floored by it. I can't stop putting it down and I just kind of want to play it and I don't even want to make this part of the video right now because I just want to play this, honestly. So, in closing, if you like what I do, if you liked this video, or if you learned something about wiring, or if you liked maybe how these pickups looked and sounded in this guitar, if you're getting some dime bag vibes, go ahead and drop a comment, drop a like, and if you feel really kind, go ahead and maybe subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.